We move on now with, uh, to other stories where Nigerians from various ethnic groups under the ages of the natives Tuesday embarked on a peaceful walk to the Independent National Electric Commission. The group says its 20 million members across the country will resist any form of threat against democracy in Nigeria. And the supporters of the president-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu Abidalawal has details. The conduct of the 2023 general elections has brought up divergent views, but many political observers believe the call by some protesters for the sack of the chairman Independent National Electoral Commission, Mahmoud Yakubu, is unnecessary. This group is at the INEC headquarters to thank the commission for standing firm against intimidation, propaganda and all forms of blackmail by the people they describe as bad losers. They insist that Nigerians went out on the 25th of February to vote for a candidate and who eventually won is the choice of the majority. They are the languages. Addressing newsmen in the presence of INEC officials, convener of the natives, Smart Edwards cautions politicians to stop inciting Nigerians against themselves and the democratic process. Some people have been going around the country inciting, calling for a taboo, which they call interim national government. That will never happen, not in Nigeria, not in every any African country that we support. Responding while receiving a prepared letter addressed to the INEC chairman, the Commission's Director of Security, Lebari Undu, assured that INEC will continue to do its constitutional roles without bias or favor. On behalf of the management of Independent National Electoral Commission, that your message will be delivered to the chairman. It's not going to pass through any other source. The director of security himself will personally take it and deliver it to the honorable chairman who is my direct boss. The group as described as unpatriotic calls for the removal and investigation of the INAC chairman Mahmoud Yakubu. They've also taxed security agencies that events leading to the presidential inauguration day is each free. Habib Alawal, TVC News, Abuja. Zamfara State Governor Belo Matawale has appealed to residents of the state to be law-abiding and respect the rule of law. The governor says that under no guise should anyone disrespect the law of the land as government will not condone any act of lawlessness. Mr. Matawale insists he remains the governor of the state until the end of his tenure in May this year. He spoke to newsmen shortly after a closed-door meeting with commissioners and special advisers at the government house chamber, Gusso. Russia has come and gone. Uh, people have to be very careful and they should know that still I'm a governor till the 29th of May. So people have to abide with the law and the regulations of the state. And uh, I assure the people of Zampara State that we are... The Nigeria Communications Commission says it will be providing the Nigerian Defense Academy with internet service for one year. This is the executive vice chairman says is part of the commission's civic social responsibility and will ensure the academy is in tune with the latest developments in technology, which can be used to secure the country's cyberspace. Celestina area has details. The pace of military modernization and the emergence of new capabilities arising from technological innovation will have a significant impact on the character of war and how military operations will be conducted. These include the fundamental role of human combatant. While there is a growing body of practical, battle system respect activities aiming to examine the use of robotics, information technology and artificial intelligence this has largely been reactive. Technology like drones, guided munition systems, rocket and explosive defense system for tanks or APCs, advanced balance sensors for soldiers, 3D principal weaponry, and other notable technologies like precise unmanned area vehicles 
are not being deployed and used. Nigeria as a country is striving not to be left behind and also make considerable advancement in the use of technology in protecting her territorial integrity. Today, Cadet Officers of 72 Regular Course, the Computer Science Department, Nigerian Defense Academy, Kaduna State, is visiting the Nigerian Communications Commission. This visit is part of their practical and industrial training to boost and corroborate what they have been taught in the classroom. This is also to afford the cadets the opportunity to ask questions and seek clarification on the use of computer science and technology in the advancement of the Nigerian military. We've invited experts on 5G from our spectrum department, experts on information technology from my IT department, and experts on cybersecurity, which we believe are areas of interest to you. We are here for such visit because um, everyone knows that for you to graduate, for you to be awarded BSc in a science course, you will need to fulfill the minimum requirements. And it means that you will need to not just see what is being taught theoretically, you need to balance with the practical aspect. The Executive Vice Chairman of the NCC believes communication is key to any electronic combat readiness. We are exchanging ideas, we are collaborating, we are innovating, because the territorial integrity of this government is something that the military has decided to uphold as well as to secure. This is a very, very important national assignment, a highly patriotic assignment that the military is doing. The EVC admonished these cadet officers to focus on developing software that will enhance Nigerian cyber security by protecting Nigerians' data and also Nigerian cyberspace. Celestina Iria, CVC News, Abuja. So the Federal Road Safety Corps has met with the leadership of the Nigeria Bar Association as part of efforts to ensure victims of road crashes are duly compensated through established legal processes. The partnership with the MBA is geared towards feeling civil act, filing civil action uh, against uh, recalcitrant drivers and their employers whose bad road use culture results in road traffic injuries and fatalities. The partnership was established during a working visit of the Corps Marshal Dauda Ali Biu to the President Nigeria Bar Association, Yakubu Meikyo. During the visit, the Corps Marshal emphasized the need to bring to an end the current reign of impunity on Nigeria's roads by ensuring that any driver whose actions or inactions lead to loss of lives or injuries of uh, other road users is made to face the wrath of the law. The NBA president lauded the gesture and reaffirmed the readiness of the Nigeria Bar Association to partner with the core in that regard because it is for the interest of the entire nation. Sanctions meted on us in most cases deter us from carrying out our function effectively. So we want the president of the NBA to look into this type of cases uh, so that uh, the members of the Corps can be able to perform their work e efficiently. We are all for what you have come to ask for. Uh, there is nothing you have asked for that we are not able to do, but of course we will require that partnership to create that robust uh, um, arrangement for us to be able to implement the laws. It's not something that we'll be able to do. Of course, we have the reach. We have 128 branches across the country and with members of not less than uh, 139 members. Thousands. The need for government's intervention towards tackling challenges of urban development for sustainable growth had again been brought to the fore by African Cities Research Consortium. The organization believes that urban development planning can curb insurgency, unemployment, and other social vices in metropolitan settlements across the country. A call for government and non-state agencies to play its role in transforming urban development to enhance youth and capability developments as well as uh, security to end future city challenges. For an estate government on its part reveals plans to address such challenges to better the lives of its citizens. 
of ICRC is to make sure that developmental challenges are looked into with a view to strengthening coalitions of the stakeholders so that a solution can be provided collectively. But the key challenge areas are city-specific. For instance, in Maiduguri, the research looked at uh, three major areas, land and connectivity, youth and capability development, and safety and security. We are trying to see how this collaboration, how this coalition can assist to, to lobby to the government, lobby to the House of Assembly, lobby alongside the civil society organization, and the, of course you, our uh, reliable allies, the, the media, to, to, to spread the message to those concerned.